Found him. What's up, buddy? I was losing hope. Yeah. <laughs> this is the uh, departures. Spot. Yeah, that's what I thought. So you went to a different spot first? Yeah. Whoops, sorry about that. Uh. All right, buddy. How you been? Good. How you doing? Good, man. Good Finally got to come out here. Yeah. That's awesome. <sighs> First, uh, first wrestling buddy to make it out. Yeah, since how long you been out here now? Two years. She says you guys are assholes. Get out here. He's yeah. stuck out here alone. Yeah, I'm all alone. This bullshit. No, I like this place. But how far are you from this airport? Like 40 minutes. Holy oh, fuck my life. Okay. All right, we'll pick this back up when we have ciders in our hands. Hell yeah. Friday, whatever. Uh, I don't think we'll find a place to sit. Oh, look at look at all these ciders. We got seven. 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 Sure. I do have seven. So apparently, I have yeah, one on nitro. Seven. But uh, seven is oh, this one right here. Yeah, this, oh, this is the hot stuff, huh? Spicy? Is it is it bad? Take a big gulp. Oh, you want me to video it for you? Sure, here you I'll video uh, it for I like you. some wait, spicy, wait, but not too spicy. Oh. Uh. Will this be on your gram? It's going to be on YouTube. Holy <laughs> fuck! Oh! Why did I do that one first? You feel poorly. Holy shit, what is in that? Jalapeno. Liquid. That has to be more than jalapenos. That's habanero, I think. No, that's habanero. It's a lot of something. Yeah, it's habanero. Woo! Try that shit. Try it. Try it. Try it. Try it. Try it. <laughs> oh, shit. What can I watch? Yeah, it hits you, doesn't it? That's habanero. It's not bad, though. I like it. Here's what they had, the, the chili, orange is tasty. The, oh, you got the blood orange one? I've had that at uh, Uptown in Minneapolis. You haven't, you haven't been, you haven't been to Minneapolis since Uptown got in there, did you? Uptown got in there? Uptown. Uptown. In Uptown. So it's the arcade, yeah. I really, really want to go. Get a fanny pack full of tokens. Yeah, and they have blood orange cider too. So I tried the chili one. I don't know what the, the shader is. That's this one. You're about to find out. I don't know what to find out. It's probably like wine. <laughs> Here. Oh, I kind of like it. It's like a holiday. Try that. It's like holiday in your mouth. You like that? Is that good? Yeah. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's like, I feel like a basic bitch. <laughs> The coffee one was all head. Unfortunately, not the good kind. Question. How many views do you get? Not many. I only have like 500 subscribers. Cider. It tastes like cream soda. So this has vanilla? It's like a cream soda, it's cream cider. Yeah, you're right. I kind of like that one. I didn't think I would like it because of, because of vanilla, but... All right. Oak apples. This one's a semi dry, which I don't like. Oh. What's up? So, some lovely ladies let us sit with them, and then I think I weirded them out by filming, or at least I weirded one of them out. That one of them videotaped for me, so I decided to stop filming, but now that they're gone, I can film and talk about this here. So, this one, when you, when you downed the one with the chili, all it tastes like was habanero. It's alright. This is probably my least favorite. This is the oak apple. This one is really good. It's almost like a spiced apple one. 
I don't know what a, a, a shader is, but somebody's gonna correct me on that. Uh, lemongrass one, the lemongrass agave is uh, just not right. It has like a weird taste to it. The coffee one's a little bit bitter, but you know what? I don't mind it. I don't think what he was a fan of it. And then uh, this one's pretty good. It's pretty tart. Lemon cranberry. So, and Ryan Cruz just sent me something. I think he's replying to that I'm with you. What was that one, huh? That looked tasty. That was the cherry bomb. Oh, that one was tart too, huh? This guy got all fruity ones, right? Except for the vanilla. What was your favorite one? I'm a big fan of that cherry bomb. I like the sour stuff. The cranberry was good too. Which would also be sour or tart. But you, you did you do have a hard on for the vanilla too. Yeah, it tastes like cream soda. Oh yeah, like a like a cream soda cider. And this tastes like a coffee cider. Location number two, it was dark as shit in here though. Look at this. That was an upstairs too. Something smells good in here, it's making me hungry. Making me want something more than donuts today. Why do they give us so many options? Like these are the drinks, like beers right here. From here, from here down is cider. I don't like this. I can't make decisions. It's way too dark in here. Look at this fucking guy. The dark one. Yeah. So, watching over you, make sure you finish your beer. This place is pretty cool, yeah. This sweet, sweet cider and your pickly beer. I thought you've been to this place before. Uh, yeah. You know what's amazing? <laughs> there we go. No, no. <laughs> what's wrong with your beer? They like pickles. Yeah, it tastes like pickles. Too distant pass. I would actually get like a Coors Light and put a pickle in it. This light makes you look gross. <laughs> because you have to, you have to switch. I don't, I don't want to put it off this way. So. <laughs> cider, cider and donuts for breakfast. Oh, that sounds healthy. Sounds like a breakfast I want. Breakfast of champions. Guys, I'm dead. Too much sugar, too much alcohol. Gonna crash. We're just getting here at his place. I'm gonna find a nice spot on his couch to sleep forever. Maybe after eating a few donuts. See you tomorrow. Get the donut off my face. Good morning, guys. Still in Seattle. Eating some voodoo donuts. Um, this is what we have left. They're pretty stale. Oh, here's the balls, the cock and balls. With uh, some cereal on it. This one is still fantastic. You should cut off a piece of the ball and try it, man. Try that testicle. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Is there cream in it? There it is. That one actually kept good too. The cereal ones get stale. That one's probably good too with the raspberry in it. We should try that one. And then this one. Man, the cereal just sticks in everything. And then that's the Portland cream. But uh, we might go on the town show a little bit of Seattle today before I leave. Um, I still gotta check flights, so that's what I'm gonna do next. <laughs> All right, well, let's see the view of this during the day, huh? La! Okay. The camera's not gonna do it justice because we have a stupid freaking screen in there. But what is this? Oh, it's nice out here. God. Fuck Minnesota, why am I still in Minnesota? Look at this thing. It's like moss all over this freaking tree here. Yeah, there's moss all over here. That's cool. I mean it's all the way on the branches too. Like that's crazy. It's prettier in the summer when all of this is green. Oh, I imagine, but still man, like for winter? <sighs> Come on. Like the grass still shows some green to it, like 
it may be a shitty green, but still. But no, this ain't bad, man. I like it. Uh, so I might be moving in. Alright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, like down there, there's like a walking path going along that little creek. Oh, pff, I can dig it. I mean, all I do is walk. I don't run. I wonder what they sell here. The pot stop? So what, did they uh, sell plants? I assume it's cookware. Okay, oh yeah, cookware, yeah. That makes sense. Right by the market, so that'd, that'd be that'd be smart. All right, so every area, every place is better with a story. And the story to this is, is that this is Fremont. It's free to go through here, but this bridge is overlooked by a troll. And you have to pay a toll to the troll to get the boy's soul or to get in the boy's hole. Whatever, either way, there's supposed to be some kind of troll here. I don't really believe it, but you know, something about a free mo Whoa. Okay. That troll's not getting in my hole, I'll tell you that. Holy cow. Have you met this troll yet? Have you met the troll yet? Oh yeah, good, good, good buddies. There he is. That eye is super fucking creepy. This truck got nothing about to make it my bitch. Yeah, baby. Dude crushes cars, man. <laughs> that is a car. He crushes cars, but he's no match for Rob James. Welcome to winter in Washington. It's raining again. I don't know if you can see the raindrops on the freaking windshield. I mean, there's sap on it, but also raindrops on the windshield. It rains, but you know what? It's still nice. I've been in a sweatshirt this whole time. I didn't need my winter jacket. My camera's in your way. My, my apologies. Um, so I'll take this weather over Minnesota winter anytime. But if it was like this all the time, then no thank you. Because I like sun. All right, we have arrived at Gaswork Park. Gasworks Park, Gaswork Park. Um, he's telling me that I'm gonna get a good view of the city from here. So, uh, yeah, let's check it out. Keep in mind, guys, this is the middle of January. And if you're from the, the North, the Northwest, I know that this is probably nothing to you, but in the Midwest, like, just to be able to see any green on the grass is amazing. You're used to this by now, though, all right? Yeah, you're getting there. Yeah. I would like to see how you would have handled this winter in Minnesota. I mean, there hasn't been too many really cold days, but they've been just shitting on us with snow. Lose my Minnesota cred. Oh, fuck. Who cares about Minnesota cred? We'll keep our Minnesota nice, but besides that, forget the winter, man. This is the one benefit about two Minnesota boys in Seattle is that he said normally this, this place is full of people with doing yoga and having blankets out here and like it's just crowded, but it's cold for people in Washington. And I, I'm excited about this weather right now. And I don't even care that it's gloomy. Like we're gonna get a good view of the city here. You'll see in a second. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's why Voodoo Donuts didn't have a line. I mean, this is kind of not the perfect time to come, but it wasn't bad. I didn't. I don't mind it. Here is Seattle, the Space Needle, and I would imagine that's downtown Seattle right there. And then we got all kinds of cool shit like this over here, pier. I mean, it's not that cool, but you know. And we got birds being dickheads over here. More boats, boats, and boats. So yeah, basically, um, it's a proven fact that what Seattle is known for are uh, boats and hoes. So, where are the hoes? It's too cold. Out. <laughs> 
Too cold for the hose. Oh god, steps. God damn cardio. We just found some crazy people. There's actually people in the water. In canoes. What in the world? Definitely do not fall in. That would suck. Because if they fall in right now, they are, it almost sounds like the person on the boat, the motorboat is coaching them, but if they fall in right now in Seattle, it is 46 in rain. Fuck, the rain wasn't supposed to come yet. It's gonna get up to 50 though, guys. What am I going back to though? I'm going back to Minneapolis, 37. And then snow on Tuesday. I was supposed to rain tonight. About the time I get into, of course. Dude, I don't know why the navigation failed us. Like, seriously, like, I can't find the Space Needle anywhere. Like, it's not over here. Oh, there's a McDonald's. Um, it's not over here. All I see is these stupid structures right here. Oh, found it. Space needles closed and stuff. Yeah, well, yeah, space needles closed right now. Is it closed all day? But I imagine in the summer when that's open, this area is just jumping. Yeah. But because when I was like 10 or 11, whenever I was out here last, uh, <laughs> which is 20, 21 to 22 years ago, um, <laughs> I remember this place being pretty jumping, but it was in the summer too. So, but I mean, I don't mind it. It's a nice little area, you know. I mean, there's a, a lot to it from this map here. What are those? Reminds me of Willy Wonka. If they were edible. <laughs> um, you know, you can walk anywhere you want to, just not right there. Careful. Uh, don't trip. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, but they probably had him around that thing, and then somebody just... Oh, whoops. I didn't do that. We're going to delete that footage. But they're not working, though, so that's probably what it was for when they were working. I didn't move it far. Settle down. Hashtag heal. All right, we're looking for coffee. I don't think it gets that specific. They have a restaurant the Space Needle in a glass. ATM that we saw, um, food service. Something tells me. Let's 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 go to the south lawn and the fountain and see what what's going on there. I I almost am certain that we were just at that little thing right there, just not too far. I'm almost certain that this is the south lawn <laughs> because the space needle is real close. So if this is the south lawn, then a fountain should be coming up right here. And this is not that epic. All right, South Lawn. Yeah, let's find some coffee or something, huh? All right, correction, correction. But yeah, we went here. We went, we went to like this. No, where were we? Yeah, that. What we thought was the South Lawn was the Muriel Amphitheater. And yeah, so now we're here. The South Lawn's coming up, and there is actually a fountain over here, so yeah, you know. I can admit when I'm wrong, and I wasn't wrong, it just the map was wrong, so. This map's right, so now we're good. So now, hopefully this is epic. I, I think we're in trouble, because in about 20 minutes or so, 30 minutes, 20 minutes or so, uh, the Women's March is supposed to happen down here. And I think that's what everybody's getting ready for here. And. That mung food smells amazing, by the way. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's try to find a coffee shop or six and uh, walk through the South Lawn. Oh, oh. Oh. Right, that was dumb. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, get out of here before we get mobbed by a bunch of women because, uh, well, women love me, but I don't know about you. There are people inside the pond. You won't run through it though. You won't run through it.
This is his first time experiencing the fountain. He's never come down here. We have found some women getting ready to march. Hopefully they are not violent. Yeah, so. That's them behind me. Right there, that's them. Hopefully they're not violent. Hey, are you not, hey, come back, buddy. Just wanna be friends. Oh my God, we're lucky we survived, man. We were in the danger zone. They looked violent. Thank God it wasn't 11. At 11, I'm sure they turn into ravaged beasts. Um, hopefully they don't know that I actually thought about voting for Trump, uh, but I didn't vote at all, so they probably will beat me up just the same. And just so you guys know, I respect women. Do what you gotta do. I'm just joking around about the Women's March thing because you know what? If you believe in something, stand up for it. I'm not knocking you, I'm just having fun. So don't think I hate women guys because really I love them way too much. So look at this cool building right here, man. They they call it the Mopop Museum, which you said it used to be what? The EMP. The EMP. So it's a cool little building here. But look at they got this dumb park right here. Why the hell would you have a park right there? <laughs> How many of you when you were younger used to pick these and eat them? Well, some of you dumb fucks probably still, but these little things Back when I was younger and I think they're the same things back when I was younger I ate those before and got in trouble for my mom for one. They didn't taste good at all. They taste like shit, but Oh, they're probably poisonous blah, blah. Sorry mom. I love you We're at the space base We're not going up top, but we might as well go in the store in the space needle yeah, that's the freaking space you know, that we're going into right now. Looks too bougie for me. Oh, there, this is my section over here, probably. All right, Taylor, I'm trying. I was told that they sold coffee grounds in here because I gave the last woman crap because this is the coffee capital of the United States and nobody's selling coffee. Oh, might have found it. Might have found it. Space Needle, don't fail me now. There we go. All right, well, that's pretty much it. Got some coffee grounds for my sister and a space needle magnet to add to the place. Thank you to Justin for showing us around a little bit here. And uh, now it's off to the airport. Back to the airport. All right, bud. Thank you very much, man. Good seeing you. Yeah. So it was a blast. Wish I had more time, but. Come back in time. Thank you very much. Let me grab my bag. Locked me, jerk. Traveling light. All right, man, get home safe. Thanks, thank the woman for letting me stay again. See you, man. All right, of course, it's never easy. She serves me right for traveling on a weekend. Um, this flight that I'm supposed to be on is delayed, so I also enlisted in a flight to Minneapolis. Hopefully, I can just get to Minneapolis, which I won't. It's overbooked. So, the flight that's gonna be close to catching. So the one that's delayed is going to Salt Lake City. The one that I'm supposed to catch from Salt Lake City to Minneapolis is still on time, so it's gonna be close. Plus, it's looking like there's 18 people on the standby list for 18 seats, so it's very close. Um, and I'm trying to figure things out, and of course, my internet's not working on my phone. The stress of standby. <laughs> Somehow it happened, we got on, uh, I got one of the last two seats on here, and uh, I'm heading to Minneapolis now, so thank God. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and uh, yeah, standby life is stressful.